Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much for sticking with me in the last video where I think it was for the first four minutes I didn't realize that my main light was on. Uh, so <laughs> I was going to start refilming it all and I was like, actually it doesn't look too bad until I realize why does it look so dark and grainy? So um, yes, I mean, this is a big video. So um, let's just keep going. Um, okay, so uh, I think I'm going to do another three and then um, I will do the last two for another video. Keep them short and sweet. Okay, so this is like, what's the, what's the uh, pick, a pick a parcel and you don't know what you're getting. So, ah, this one, I know what it is. This was my first love and this is the guess mini backpack urban chic oh i don't think i have her stuffed ah oh, i don't have her stuffed kate bad come on your first love so as i'm going through i i'm going to take the labels out so i know i think i've got it here there we go so the urban chic so this is my first one so well, uh, I, w I will because there's so much guest paper. Oh, see, when you get the guest bags, guys, in the store or on the website or on eBay, if they're new, guess stuffs, and I mean stuffs the bags. And I just keep all the paper because it's part of the purchase. I can't bear to throw it away. Um, so I do keep it all. So, um, do you know what? I probably is, this hasn't been stuffed because I use this recently and I just haven't had a chance to restuff it, but I love this. So this is the first bag that I got from Guess. I absolutely love it. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail guys. There's a full video there if you guys are interested, but I absolutely love it. It holds so much. It's so gorgeous. That beautiful brown monogram with the graffiti the zips are so beautiful the little gas and the gas established 1981 the pink and the white another beautiful gas zip the logo here looks like it's been spray painted on absolutely gorgeous the straps are adjustable and so comfortable Guys, this bag, I cannot say enough good things about this bag. This was my first purchase. £85 when I bought it. You guys, IBG Lux Lover, I remember you leaving a comment and you said, girl, you, I know you love that bag. So <laughs> I remember reading that going, yep, I, I don't think I could hide my happiness when I did my unboxing of this. I really just could not believe at the time how gorgeous this is um the price point is so good for what it is i really did think it would be into like triple figures it wasn't it was 85 pounds and i'm very very thankful that i got it when i did because um it has not gone on sale so it just shows how popular it is they have recently come out with a new um uh the spring and summer collection is now um available on guess they do have um, their spring summer collection 19 um, version of their mini pack of their mini backpack and if I can find a picture I will include this now for you uh, I'll put it in now so guys that didn't that didn't float my boat no this I don't think you could in, like uh what's the word uh improve on this for me anyway this this is this is me uh this beautiful pink and white against the monogram i don't think there's anything that they could do to improve this this was the one i fell in love with absolutely fell in love with what started me with my guest obsession and um yeah uh that i i just don't like that light brown that well i know that i made this is dark brown but the light brown and the colors that they've got you know everyone's different but just those color combos and the monogram just beautiful and it does hold so much and i love it 
obviously because I'm smiling so much when I open it I love it I love it so much so that is how many have we got left I don't know what I'm getting I love this I'm putting my hand down what am I going to get so let me see oh yes <laughs> I remember this one the Jolene 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 wish I hadn't done that <laughs> anyway guys so this is Jolene and um yes uh the prop not the problem bag the problem strap do you guys remember my last video the strap isn't even in here i think i put the strap away in a drawer it has never seen the light of day again it was the one that the glazing was coming off um it was this is a past model sorry i'll show it to you before i start wittering on about it so this is the Jolene. It's very like the Selma actually from Michael Kors. And um, the strap does have, which I appreciated more in this one, it does have the D-rings on the inside. Uh, so you do not um, have the straps on the handles, which I didn't like about the Jocelyn because it pulls one side of the handle than the other so i do appreciate the fact that the d-rings are on the inside but that strap guys oh it's a nice guitar type strap but it is not adjustable it's a short strap you can only wear it on one shoulder and as i said in the video where i um reviewed this um oh it's a heavy bag anyway and so when you put your items in there it was killing my shoulder even after 20 minutes of being out of my lunch break my shoulder was killing me so that's when i got the the guess um uh the separate strap the the guess uh logo strap and it made a world of difference because i was i was really really thinking of reselling this when i got it because of that shoulder strap not even that the glazing was coming off it was just the fact i was thinking i cannot wear this because it is absolutely killing my shoulder so when you add a crop uh, sorry when you add a cross body strap it's so much better and i really didn't want to get rid of this because yes the strap did have defects but the bag is so lovely it comes with this gorgeous monogram um gold plated uh uh bag charm uh you have a little uh, snap button closure there you have a huge compartment in the front a huge compartment in the back with the uh, zip compartment I mean on this is why there's so many compartments that I you know it does get heavy very quick because you realize how much you can fit in and then there's a very generous metal compartment too so it really just is like a Mary Poppins bag you can never fill it you know so it is fantastic but that strap oh guys no so yes the beautiful Jolene and another another zip pocket if you so desire it is beautiful but you know guys i love the guess um gray monogram the dark gray monogram and the light gray monogram there's just something about it it's beautiful um and i said in that video that i do not blame the seller for the condition of that strap um i think it was just a defective strap and it happens but I was not liking that strap because it was so sore so um yes i love that it's about a great work bag another great work bag uh so guys one more and then i'll do a part three so let me see again i'm just grabbing them as i go i don't know what i'm picking up here ah uh, yes <laughs> so this is the uh beautiful urban chic is this the vicky see guys when you buy so many right so that was the yes the vicky oh and i've done jolene so sorry that last one was the jolene so i'm trying to move these all so i know that i'm doing this yes so this is the vicky in the uh the brown um monogram uh in the urban chic design like the backpack so beautiful so as you can see i've put the 
with the backpack and the dust bag. I'll get out again. So as you can see, you get so much more of the main design and the totes. You get to see the whole thing. And um, it's just beautiful. And it's I love the size of it. It's it's big enough, obviously, to hold everything, but it's it's not a huge tote. And it's perfect for someone like myself who's quite short and it's just fantastic and if you don't want the print all the time you can go onto the monogram on the back and it is just beautiful there is a pochette that comes with this um i will include that in my next video just to show you i did use it i'm um, actually on a night out and it is brilliant it really is like another it's like another free handbag um so um I, d I do love using that but in this uh, type of tote I do use my Perrier handbag organizer because it has so many compartments and just fits into this perfectly and also because the Vicky tote does not come with a zip it's just snap up enclosure um, and look at that beautiful interior guys the leopard print so there's no inside pockets or anything like that there um, there are snap button closures here to cinch in the sides and it came like this and it took a while to stretch these out because it comes like that and I just don't like the look of that. It's kind of like the Neverfull when you cinch in the sides. Not many people wear the Neverfull with the cinched in sides. I just don't like the way it looks, especially with that beautiful graffiti. You want that to stand out and, you know, show the whole beautiful design. So... I prefer it like that and as it says in all of this chaos we have found a moment to love and it just has all these the diva since 1981 the year there was established the beautiful guest uh, monogram logo there with the Los Angeles address and it's just beautiful the pink and the white against the brown I didn't know that they did a tote because this was not about when I bought the urban chic backpack and then when I saw this on the website I had to have it straight away <laughs> so and if you sign up to the newsletter guys and it's still it's still a, a, an offer I think you get 15% off your first purchase if it's over 80 pounds and I think this was 89.99 and you get free postage so that is something to consider. I did get money off it. Um, and it is oh, such a lovely tote. It really is. It's so carefree. And I have had no issues, especially with the screen printing. The screen printing is all perfect. And this has been used a lot. The same as my backpack. And it is just holding up so well. The straps are just beautiful. A lovely kind of like grain leather effect. Beautiful. It is just gorgeous so that is that one and guys I am going to wrap this up now because I said I told you I didn't want you to get bored so yes I have two left and that will be for part three um, so guys apologies for my terrible singing it came into my head and I do have a bit of verbal diarrhea that's what I I don't process it before I say it so I'm so sorry you had to listen to that. <laughs> but um, yeah, I hear Jolene and the song just comes into my head. Um, so, okay, guys, that is part two. I will come back to you soon with part three. As always, thank you very much for watching and I will speak to you very soon. Bye, guys.